Fellow Kenyans, this evening, we celebrate the end of an extraordinary year and look forward with hope to personal and national progress in 2018. Kenya has come a long way since our first president wished the country a happy new year 54 years ago. We began 1964 a free and independent people. That night, Kenyans celebrated not just a new year, but the start of a historic journey of freedom and self-government. Once they had wrested our freedom from empire, our fathers turned to the war against poverty, disease, and ignorance. Their vision, their hopes, have guided us for over half a century. Even when we have stumbled and encountered hardships, we, the Kenyan people, have never lost sight of our destination. A country in which every citizen's talents and dreams are achieved, in which every Kenyan shares in our prosperity, and a Kenya secure and at peace with the world. In the last five years, we have worked hard to hasten our progress to that destination by laying the foundations for the kind of economy required by our young, educated, and ambitious people. We built a world-class railway on time and within budget. And on the 2nd of January, 2018, that railway will begin carrying commercial cargo, cutting costs and delays in trade for Kenyans, as well as our neighbors. We delivered on this promise because we knew that to attract world-class manufacturing and value addition investments, which are critical to creating jobs, we would need world-class infrastructure. We did the same with our roads by undertaking the most aggressive expansion and upgrading effort in our nation's history. The impact has been felt in the lives of our people. Journeys that once took days, especially in the rainy season, have been cut to hours. Farmers are getting their produce to markets faster and towns newly connected are thriving as never before. When Kenyans can travel more easily, they trade with one another more, build greater prosperity, and more importantly, get to know and respect one another more. With the rapid growth of connections to electricity, millions of Kenyans' homes are now lit up. Many of us celebrate this new year under light bulbs, celebrated, last one, celebrated the last one under candles and lamps. Children in these homes can now study into the night and do better academically. The success of the Last Mile Project for Power is being studied all over our region and the world because this is one of the fastest such expansions globally. Almost every school in the Republic is now connected to power. We promised digital learning devices and we delivered. In the last two years, they have brought new knowledge to hundreds of thousands of our children. They will do even better academically now that we have reformed our exam system and raised standards in our institutions of higher learning. In a few days, there will be more entrants into secondary schools 
than ever before in our nation's history. Rather than watch our children drop out of their educational system when they are barely teenagers, almost all of them will now further their education. And this is because we believe that education should be inclusive, not exclusive. We have delivered on this, and it is going to transform our children and our country with them. Our sons and daughters who graduate and do not go to university will have the choice to undertake technical education, which promises to gain them decent employment. This was yet another area of our attention where we delivered new and upgraded technical training institutes throughout the Republic. In the coming years, as our investments in building an investment-ready economy bear fruit, the graduates of these institutions will find jobs in manufacturing, in service, as well as construction. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans this year are healthier than they have been ever in the past. Our reforms of the National Health Insurance Fund and the Free Maternal Care Program have been a great success. We also delivered modern diagnostic equipment to every county. The long and expensive bus journeys to Nairobi to access the most modern care have become a burden of the past. And we will not stop there. As you know, under my Big Four plan, my administration has committed to health care for every Kenyan. The days of hospital costs bankrupting families will end. Healthier Kenyans will be more productive Kenyans. And our country will benefit immensely. In the past five years, also, devolution has transformed our governance. Today, every county receives a proportional share of revenue to pursue the priorities of Kenyans at the grassroots. We should be proud of the speed which we undertook this historic reform. Few, if any country, anywhere in the world, have transformed their governance as widely or as quickly as we did. There is still further to go in this process, particularly in ensuring that the funds transferred to the devolved units are responsibly used so that they change the lives of citizens. Fellow Kenyans, Serious security challenges have come our way in the past five years. But we have strengthened our response to them. Today, the terrorists who threaten our people and our country have a far harder time succeeding in their evil plans. And this is thanks to our brave, empowered, and supported security officers. The impact of crime in the daily lives of Kenyans has dropped in response to the sharp increase in the number of police officers whose equipment is enhanced. There is still further to go in securing Kenya and every Kenyan, but we are on an upward climb that will make our country more secure day by day, month by month, year by year. Fellow Kenyans, we have worked hard in the last five years to deliver better services, security, and in building a foundation 
for a more prosperous Kenya. We have made remarkable progress, but the journey continues. For there are still Kenyans who worry about low incomes, the cost of food and shelter. And we will continue to work each and every day to ease the life of every Kenyan. We will invest in agriculture in an ambitious and innovative way to make food not only available but affordable for every Kenyan. We will respond to your need for accessible and affordable health care so that no illness throws a Kenyan family into hardship again. Working with the private sector, we will deliver half a million decent and affordable homes to working Kenyans in the next five years. We will make owning a home an opportunity that every Kenyan of modest income can afford. Home ownership is a path to the middle class. It will become it will now become an accessible part of the Kenyan dream. Importantly, the delivery of the new homes will also create hundreds of thousands of new jobs. We will ensure that every Kenyan has access to health care. We will enter a new era of food security for Kenyans so as I have said, that food is not only accessible but also affordable. And we will ensure that we add value to our agricultural products so that our farmers produce brings jobs and incomes for young people in factories and the transport sector. In the last five years, we kept our promises to one another. And in 2018, and for the next four years after that, we will continue with this path of delivery. It is what the Kenyan people expect. It is what they deserve. And it is my duty to deliver to them. In the next few weeks, I will unveil the men and women to whom I will entrust delivery of the Big Four and other programs that will transform this nation. I will expect those men and women to serve Kenyans without partiality and with the very highest standard of standard of integrity and efficiency. They must prove themselves worthy of the trust Kenyans will have bestowed on them. Friends, Kenyans urgently desire stronger and more prosperous families and communities. Every leader listening to me tonight must know in their bones that our first priority is to serve that desire. Whether you're a leader of a family or a 